going on? Hey, wizard. Hey, asterisks. Aster. Asterisks. I don't know why I give a hard time saying that name. Aster is X. Aster I6. Yes. Anyway, I am just continuing on with the Steam Punky Basketball thingy. By the way, if anyone's ever, if anyone has an idea for a title for this game, shout it out because um, I'm struggling with that. Uh, so I was gonna work on double dashing clinking into each other. Let me make sure I have some two-player controls since uh, I don't know it's here. Okay, I don't have dashing set up on keyboard. Player two. I only have one game pad here, so what did I change on this yesterday? Oh, this is for the throwing. I don't care about that. I don't have dashing at all here. Okay. Keyboard. Why can I not find my keyboard notes? Um, key pressed. That should at least get me dashing, I think, at least in one direction. Collides with player two and player one. Let's uh, yeah. dash in and player two is dashing. 
It's going, man. It's going. It's going good, man. How are you doing? to add a there too is not Asher and here to add a player one is not Asher right. so if they're both dashing when they hit um, Just set their vectors back. How fast can they go? Max speed three hundred. Naturally, I'm just setting this up to test. It's only going to work uh, if they're coming at each other in this direction. That's not going to work flip sides. Uh, but we'll get to that later. Let's see what happens with this. This is going to be like almost impossible to do. Alright, I can't tell what's working or not. What was that? Just like bumped into him and the ball came flying out. Number two is stuck on dashing. Onset Games, welcome man. How's it going? Uh, where am I setting? Where am I setting is dash into false? That's what I thought. So basically I'm not doing it on the gamepad or... Okay. So I need to fix that on the gamepad side first. Uh, 
That should be fixed. Turp Kiwi, welcome man. How you doing today? Let's see what we got now. Alright. Alright, that's pretty good. They just kind of cling into each other. I think. Maybe add a little sling, a sound, and a little spark or something right there. My sound. That's good. <clears throat> so, yeah, we just need to reverse this if they collide in another direction. So, um,. I think how should we handle this if they're if they both hit each other face on, then it should do the the to chink. Um, but I think if one's behind the other one, you should be able to to if they both dash, but one's behind the other one. Um, I don't know how that would ever happen. Though. Should they steal the ball? I'm not gonna worry about that right now. That'd be a Something later to worry about. So basically, we need to check if they're both mirrored. Alright, player one. Oops. Player one is mirrored and. Two is not mirror. And then if player one is not mirror, and player two is mirror. Yeah. Okay. Cool man. Anybody working on anything today? Player one and then these two will swap arms. I'm feeling pretty good about this now. Better than I felt yesterday. Um, I like the new kind of sh shoot. I'm not sure I like the 
the angle the angle for the diagonal shooting is off. My controls have gotten so crazy, I think I'm going to have to just get the one player done and then copy and paste to do the two player, because <laughs> with it's not as the main character, awesome. <laughs> like a snot that comes out of your nose, or it's not like a spoiled brat kid snot. Controls for the angles. There we go. Um, if D-pad is up to the right, yeah. What's halfway between three sixty and two seventy? Oops. Let's try it out. I like that better. So those should have been good already. Alright, let me test that out a little more. Um, asterisk, asterisk. Let me look it up. PS1, you said? Oh, I remember this game. Actually, I I don't remember this game. But was there an arcade game called that as well? Because the graphics looked familiar. Yeah. Yeah, I played the arcade game. Which I think is just a side scrolling beat em up. The PlayStation game looks like it adds a whole lot of other stuff. So that's cool. Hey, Gavin, airspace. I'm Dwunk Wade. Oh no. <laughs> hey, guys. Thanks for popping in. Thanks for the host, man. I don't even know how to, or if you are hosting, I don't even know if you are hosting, but if you are, I don't know how to tell when you get hosted by somebody. It doesn't like pop up in my chat or anything. So, 
if you did host, thank you. I just don't know how to tell. Um, if you want to share how to let me know, um, that way I can add a, I can add a little message or something. Cool. I'll definitely check it out, Terp Terpy. Um, we do an event every year where we do a bunch of local multiplayer games. So um, I'm gonna check that out, see if it's good for uh, for that event. Ah, Miss Rara, thanks for the follow, man. Oh, okay, Gavin, thanks. Oh, so we got a new follow. You guys all know what we do on a follow. Let's let's wait and see if more of the uh, the drunkards come in here first before we do the mystery box for uh, the new follow. Um, but those of you that are new to my channel, um, if you head over to Arcade.tv and register real quick, only takes a second. Um, any quarters that you earn in here um, will then be put into your quarter bank and you can use that for other stuff later on. Um, oh, blinded eye, were you not following before? Follow us, we got two mystery boxes to do. We got two to do, we'll, uh, we'll make sure all the drunkards get in here first. A couple more minutes, and we will hit both of those. Um, before we do that, let me make sure my... I usually do this before before I stream, but let me make sure my, um, my host is running. I'm pretty sure it is, but you never can't tell with software, you know. Oh my goodness, Three, you guys are killing me today. All right, we are good to go. We got to be doing mystery boxes for the rest of the day. All right, let's go ahead and do one now. Start off with the high score challenge. All right, what's it gonna be? Arcade Stacker, that's a new one by Mondu. Um, I believe the link to Arcade Stacker will pop up in the chat. Um, if it doesn't, I'll give it to you momentarily. All right, and we can go ahead and get this started. This is a simple one. You just want to uh, stack up the arcade machines, and I'm horrible at it. Uh oh, is this one not working? I'll be honest with you guys. I don't know that I fully tested this one on the network side. Yes, this might be some bad news. I may not have tested this one. Because I don't see scores coming in. I apologize for that. Let's switch up games. So, my bad. I need to further test Arcade Stacker. Let's pick another game. <laughs> Let's let's pick another game. Twitch Invaders. All right, let's try this again. Sorry about that. Hey Chase, um, I don't actually play really many um, new games that aren't like indie stuff. I don't play a lot of 3D games, so I have not purchased it all. I haven't played Fallout since, like, the original ones on the PC. Make sure this is working. Alright. This game's working.
Yeah, sorry, Jabin. Um, the arcade stacker game isn't completely working, so I need to um, I need to fix that. Arcade stacker not recording scores. Got about a minute thirty left, guys. Airspace is in the lead with a 195 right now, but it's been quiet for a minute, so I have a feeling some big scores are about to come in. Yep, 335. Nice. <laughs> Pro you are. One minute left. Um, you will get a you'll get a ten second warning when there's only ten seconds left, and at that time you should get your last couple scores and then get dead, so your score will get updated. Woo, wizard! Because uh, as soon as the time is up. Um, no more scores will be recorded, so when you see that 10 second warning, make sure you get dead. It's meant to be hard, so don't feel bad. Five seconds left. That's it. Time's up. Come on over here. Code Monkey Dave. So there's our finals. Looks good. Good job, everyone. I want to see if it the quarter's actually updated. It did. I got my quarter. Yay. So I believe first place gets five, and then four, three, two, and then everybody else that competed gets one. So good job, guys. Nicely done. Uh, blinded eye, you have to be registered on the website first, or else you won't be able to you won't be able to earn or see your quarters. So you do have to be registered on the website first. So anybody that's not registered on the website, if you want to do that real quick before I do these next two. Um, mystery boxes that we got from follows so again make sure you're registered on the website it only takes a second you forgot your password to the website <laughs> uh, shoot me an email and I'll get it for you Yeah, it uses a little bit of the Twitch API. Um, a lot of the games and stuff are all done through HTML5, and then my overlay um, is made of HTML5, and then it uses WebRTC to, to connect all the multiplayer stuff together. Okay, Chase, I'll get yours in just a sec. All right. Uh, everyone's registered. Let's get these um, mystery boxes out of the way. Another high score challenge? What's going on? Really? <laughs> really, arcade stacker? Space shooter. It's space shooter this time, guys. Are you ready? Are you guys ready for some space shooter? Uh, do it. And while that's going on, I'll get your password, uh, Chase.
Oh, that's awesome, Gavin. Well, have a good day at work, man. And um, I hope it's a pleasant day, and I'll definitely catch you on Friday. Later, buddy. That's right, Chase. I'll whisper it to you. Now this game's kind of cool. The, the further you move up on the screen, the higher your combos. So you can get some big points if you want to be risky. What do you guys think of the time on the uh, high score challenge? Is three minutes enough? Too much? Too little? Too lazy to register it seriously takes like uh, you type in your name your twitch name and a password and that's it and then you register that's all right you don't have to register um what's going to happen a lot with the quarters as you can actually see on the website is i'm going to be having monthly high score challenges which will be a different game that is hosted on the website and then every month i'm going to give away like a retro console or um a, a key to like Construct to uh, a license to construct to or a license to Game Maker Pro, something something a little bit bigger each month. So ten seconds left. Three minutes is too much time. Okay, you think maybe like two minutes? I had two minutes earlier, um, but we were doing a lot of testing then, so. Um, it was hard to determine. Your username on the website, Chase? So, Airspace won. Wizard got second. Jabin third. And the rest of you, good job. You guys should have your quarters. Uh, let me check something for Chase real quick. And let me see what's going on with Chase's account real quick. Give me one sec, guys. Uh, I'll do the last mystery box in a second. We got three follows pretty close together. Uh, I just need to check something real fast. All right, let me close that down. All right, final mystery box. Here we go. Of course you can, Blinded Eye Man. Go for it. Quarters for all. Everyone gets a quarter. All right. That was fun. And 20 minutes away from a main break. Man. Ah, that's a good idea, man. Very good idea. Thank you. I will add that to my list. Headbot should let you know if you type. 
closes and are not registered. Nice. Thank you. Great idea. What's going on exactly? I know it's a little crazy if you pop in. Uh, there is not a Tetris high score challenge. The reason being is the games need to be fast, um, quick, um, and Tetris could go on for a while. Uh, I guess I could make a Tetris game that like starts you at like level 99 and walks and start flying down. That might be kind of cool. Uh, but that's the reason we didn't do anything like that because the games need to be super quick. Uh, so what you can do with the quarters, if you go to the website, it kind of explains it. Uh, so if you go to arcade.tv, um, it kind of explains what the quarters are for on here. Uh, but basically what I'm doing is, uh, starting in the next week or so, I'll actually have a high score challenge on the website. It'll be a monthly challenge. It'll be an arcade game, but you actually have to use your quarters to play it each time. Kind of like it was in the arcade back in the day. And then the high score from the month will win a bigger prize. I'm thinking like uh, retro consoles or uh, Game Maker Pro licenses or Construct 2 licenses. Um, bigger prizes like that each month. Um, and then also you can use your quarters. When I do a main break here in about 20 minutes, uh, you, can use a, you can bet a quarter on how long you think I'll last in a random game that will come up in main. So, and then the winner gets the pot of that. So you'll see that in a little bit. Um, it's a lot to take in, but if you visit the website, you can actually uh, uh, read quite a bit about it. Hey, Diver, what's going on, man? And Kellogg. Howdy, howdy. All right, did I miss anything? So what's going on, Fantozer? The best thing to do is to head to the website. It kind of explains what the channel's all about. Um, that would be the best way. Uh, as a dev, you want feedback on what you make. Well, clients, viewers want feedback for what they do, of course. Arcade with free shipping. OK. <laughs> Yeah, that's going to be another option is some is some personalization. Um, right now, the the sprites are all just randomly generated when you pop in the room. There's like, I think forty or fifty of them. Um, but that is one thing that I want to do through the website is make it to where you can either draw your own sprite and upload it, or um, pick some like special ones. So that is. Uh, let me add that to. Um, I need a new section for website ideas. Custom sprites. Uh, actually, just website. Monthly arcade challenge. Thank you for all the input, guys. This is awesome. Um, I apologize when I when I stream at work. Um, I have all my servers are behind me, so it's really loud in here, in my office. So I have to use um, Audacity to filter out the noise. So my voice can sound a little weird uh, because it's filtering out of noise in the background. So your ghost is a is a what? <clears throat> Where are you, Chase? Where are you? Did you disappear? Oh no, there you are. Oh no, you're the uh, you're the guy from Yi Yi Kung Fu. So yeah, so so that's what's up with my voice. Um, Whoever was asking about the mic. Who was asking about the mic? Um, when I'm at home and I stream at night, I have a really nice mic and stuff set up at home. So, happy bling. Welcome. 
Uh, well, here, let me um, let me uh, change my. Let's up this a little bit better. Is that better? Let me know if that's better or worse. But yeah, that's all my servers humming in the background is what you hear. Uh, does that sound better? You mean your sprite chase? It's year our kung fu here. There you are. See? That's you. <laughs> oh, it's just a it's just a lapel mic. It's a Audio Technica um, noise canceling lapel mic is what I have here. Um, I can't have a big work a big mic here at work. It was better before the change. Okay, maybe I set it up too high. I'll try it right about there. How's that? Thanks, Fantozer. I've been working on it for a couple months now, so... Um, I did watch Pixels, actually. Uh, let me know how the mic is now. No, Audition is... um. It comes uh, uh, the Adobe Suite. Yeah, I mean, one of the things that I try to do is uh, game dev isn't necessarily really that fun to watch for the most part. So any kind of interactivity we can bring into it um, is kind of what some of us are trying to do. So Fantozer, man, thanks for the follow. Um, and on, what we do on follows is, you know, we do our mystery box. So let's see what mystery box we get for Fantozer. Another high score challenge? Are you kidding me? That's three already today. Four way. Is Quarix here? Quarix is not here. So you guys should have fun with four way. All right, so a link will pop up in the chat of the game. You got three minutes to get the high score. If you're not registered on the website, arcaded.tv, go do that real fast. It only takes a sec, and then pop over to the game so you can earn some quarters. All right, let's start this high score challenge. Uh, score challenge. I can't believe we've had three of these already today. This is nuts. Turkey's in first with 600. Zaxu comes in with 2200. Ooh, 3900 for airspace. My body is ready. No, I don't. I uh, um, through my my business, I actually own. I buy the the monthly Adobe. You know, it's fifty bucks a month. It's it's pretty worth it because you get pretty much every Adobe product you would ever need. And the only thing I use Audition for is this one thing to noise cancel out my sound. So, and there's probably another way to do it, but. Toxic Crayon, thanks for joining us. We are in the middle of a high score challenge at the moment. Uh, if you missed the link because you just popped into chat, here it is. You can go there, type in your Twitch name, and you can challenge for the high score. We got some good scores here. Airspace still in the lead with 3,900. It's been quiet though, which usually means there's some big scores coming. Hey, not Zelda Gaming. I didn't see you pop in, man. Hmm. 
You gotta use use your Twitch name. That way it, it, it knows that you're actually in the chat. It checks if you're actually in the chat. Um, if you get an error sending score, your firewall might be on. Um, I haven't quite figured out how or what settings need to go into the Windows firewall to get around that. Um, so it could be that your firewall's on. And some people have been fine with the firewall being on, and some people have had issues. So I'm still trying to work through that one. So that could be it. Hey, arcade player ABC, welcome. Time is up on that one. And J Ben comes in at the end with a score of 4,100. Congrats, man. You should have your quarters, all you should. Uh, so yeah, so if if it's not letting you send your scores, usually from what I've seen, it's a firewall issue. Um, I'll try to do some better coding into those games to kind of show exactly what's going on, uh, because right now it's really generic. Just kind of says error, doesn't really tell you a whole lot. Your body was not ready. Yeah, like I said, Phantozer, it could be your firewall. Check and see if your Windows firewall is turned on. Alright. All these follows, I'm not getting much done. <laughs> Alright, so where are we at in this? I really am still thinking about doing away with the grappling hooks. So, I need more defense in the game. Uh, yeah, if I'm not, I'm not a, um, a YouTube, what is it, YouTube sponsored or partner or whatever. Since I'm not a partner, you can't, you can't change the, the resolution, I guess. The video quality. The jig is up, man. So, I definitely need some more defense. I'm not exactly sure what, uh, what kind of defense we can throw in here. Uh, YouTube? Uh, I do upload all these to YouTube. Is that what you're asking? Maybe. So let's see. For defense, what could we do? We've got our bird that comes and steals the ball. No, Twitch partnership. Uh, when you're a Twitch partner, then your viewers are able to change the video um, quality, I guess. But until you're a partner, then you don't get to.
Uh, so basically, the game I'm working on is a two-player sort of basketball-ish uh, steam of punky game. Uh, where your goal is to get the basketball in the hoop uh, three times. And then you have certain abilities. I mean, it's a 2D platformer slash basketball game. Uh, but then you have special abilities. You have the grappling hook currently that you can climb up to higher spaces. Um, the gems, the more gems you collect, the higher you jump. But then you spend gems on your special abilities, like the grappling hook. Um, you can send a vulture to your opponent, and it'll either steal the ball from them, or it will knock them back off of a platform. Um, there is a dash that costs a gem, and the dash will steal the ball from the other person, um, or let you dash. Um, and, and then you can throw a bomb as well. You can throw it, and it'll stick to the other person, and it'll um, stun them or knock the ball out of their hands. It'll also blow away certain blocks that will regenerate over time. So you can kind of take out platforms as you go to get the ball if you want. That's why I'm thinking about doing away with the grappling hook and making it more like a strict platformer. Um, but right now there's not a whole lot of options to defend a person shooting the ball besides jumping in front of them and catching it. So I'm trying to think if there's any ideas for uh, defense. Um, I don't know. All the tutorials I watched on how to do noise canceling showed it with Audition. And since I already had it, I just used it. Um, it may be possible. I don't know with Audacity if you can apply filters to live, um, to live voice. I think you can only apply it to like stuff that's already been like recorded and then you can apply the filter afterwards. I don't think you can apply it to as voices streaming through, if that makes sense. No, I have a graphics artist. I, I don't do graphics at all. I'm horrible at it. Um, so no, these graphics are all done uh, by a guy that I've used in uh, a few of my other games. So. What would be a steampunky thing to do for defense? What if you shot like a net? Could you shoot like a like a net? But what if you right now the grappling hook acts as a shield or the ball can't go through it? What if you're able to shoot the grappling hook at like different angles? Connor four oh four, welcome man. Thanks for popping in today. And there's Mondu. Welcome Mondu. Hello, hello. So hey, we just about to play it. We played Arcade Stacker and uh, it didn't work. I don't think I completely coded in the uh, the networking stuff, and I'll, I don't think I ever tested it. So um, we didn't get a chance to fully play it. So Mondu here made four of the six games for the high score challenge for me. And uh, Arcade Stacker was one of them. So I need to fix that up. No, I don't like the angled grappling hook thing. That could just be like too OP. You like shoot it all the way across here and then this guy can't shoot at all. Shooting a net might not be a bad idea though. Are, are nets steampunky things? I don't. I know very little about steampunk. Steam punk nets. Is that a thing? Uh, yeah, that's not what I was expecting. <laughs> Just like a net gun or something? What's this guy got? Yeah, net gun. There we go. See? Very steampunky. Is 
So that could be it. They could shoot a net across the screen to block a shot. No, shooting a net at um, at the ball. So say this guy's here and he shoots it from here and I'm all the way over here. I can shoot a net and kind of like intercept the ball before it uh, goes into the hoop. That's kind of my thought. I'm using X Split for the uh, streaming part. This almost looks like a net. It's not, but. of temporary net sprite. I just want a sprite of a net. Oh well, I'll just draw one, I guess. I'll draw one because I'm so good at drawing. Unless anybody any better ideas for other defensive. Oh, main break. Um, I've got a story about OBS um, that I will share, but right now it is time for a main break. Man, I'm not going to get anything done today. That's all right. I enjoy the follows. Okay, so main break. Here's how this works. I pick a random name game. Black Tiger. Hey, Rage Paint Games. All right, so I pick a random name game, Black Tiger. Those of you who don't know what Black Tiger is, it's kind of a uh, 2D platformer, beat em up shooter type game. All right. Normally, if it's a game I didn't know, I would fire it up. Or if it wasn't a popular game, I'd fire it up so everybody could see it real quick. And then you can, everybody in the chat can spend a quarter, if you want, and vote on how long you think I will last with one quarter in this game. And you bet by doing bet, main, and then the time you think. Um, I will do 2 minutes and 30 seconds. So, like that is how you bet. And if you have a quarter... It'll let you bet, but you don't have to. It'll only bet one quarter, and then the closest time will get all the quarters. So that's kind of how that works. And then I start a timer, and then I go. Hot and tot, welcome. So this is our quick little main break. So if you want to bet, you can. Three minutes, all right. Oh, J Ben, you didn't register on the website yet, did you? Huh. It didn't let you bet? Bet name. Try putting zero seconds at the end of that, J Ben. Huh. All right, I'll check that out, man. I've got your bet recorded in your in my head. I'll check out why it's not working. J Ben can't mean bet. I'll figure out why. And neither can Chase. I wonder if it has something to do with new registers. I'll look into it. I'm still testing the 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 betting system. Um, what I've been doing is I'm giving everybody their quarters back at the end, anyways. So uh, just a test. Interesting. 
interesting. Yeah, you could try. Like I said, this is just all testing right now. The betting part. This is really new. So, don't worry about it for right now, guys. Um, but this part will come. Oops. <laughs> you cannot control your jumps in the air. It is a set arc jump. Man, every, every chest is awful. I forgot the timer anyways. So you can guys see how this is all new to me. This part of the show. But I appreciate you guys helping me test stuff. Some of the guys in here will remember the overlay early on. And it was so buggy. Seriously, every chest is bad? Whoa. Zenny coins. Okay, so I definitely have some testing to do on the betting. Uh, so normally we would have a timer and then after the timer it would show everyone's bets. Um, yeah, so that part will be coming soon. <laughs> So yeah, I don't know why. I wonder if it has something to do with caps or not caps. Because I think on the website, I'm betting, I'm betting it's case sensitive. So I'll check that. I bet that's what's going on. If I convert everything to uppercase when I send the info, I bet uh, that'll work. Um, I didn't even start the timer since it was all messed up. Uh, I'll give everybody a quarter back, though, for those of you that did bet. So everyone's got one extra quarter now. <laughs> all right. And since you guys suffered through that, um, let's give something away. Let's give away a game. Let me see what I got. Let me give away a game because you guys are all so patient and awesome and helpful in helping me test. I've got a Steam Key for. Let's do a good one.
There's quite a few in here, right? 12. How about gang beasts? Steam key for gang beasts. That should be a good one. All right, those of you that are new, here's the way we do giveaways. It's all random. Uh, the winner, I'll whisper a Steam key for Game Beasts to you. So, who's it gonna be? Random select. Go! <laughs> oh man! It's the longest random select ever! Happy Sibling! Are you here? If you're here, Happy Sibling, give a shout and I will whisper you the Steam Key. Happy Sibling is no longer here, is he? He is not. All right, let's do it again. What? How did he get up in that corner both times? It's supposed to be random. Come on now. There we go. I was so lucky that he got up in that corner both times. <laughs> yeah, being out in front sucks. I'm the big winner! <laughs> I'm the winner. Alright, I get the Steam Key. No, I'm just kidding. This is seriously the longest this has ever taken. <laughs> there you go, Galaga's angry. Airspace 2, are you here? You are here. Whisper, airspace, there you go buddy, I just whispered you a steam key for gang beasts. <laughs> Alright, man, the stream is exhausting today. <laughs> um, I need to remove Arcaded, Arcaded Bot, and Moobot. From the random giveaway Galaga challenge. This is the most list I've gotten to do on the overlay in a while, so thank you guys. It's so awesome. Yeah, it stinks when you get in the middle, but it does randomize it each time I click the button. So it's not like you're always going to be in the middle. It randomizes where each person is. So. How happy, happy sibling got in the upper left corner, which is the golden spot every time, or two times in a row, is a mystery. <laughs> okay. What were we? Maybe I'll actually do some game dev now. I don't think I've done any game dev for like the last hour. That's funny. Um, okay, let's just make a stupid net of some kind. Um, please feel free to laugh at my drawing because I am really bad. It's 
better with the sound effects, right? There. That's a net. Does it look like a net? It's like a spider web. Whatever. Net. I always hate putting these like in, in a game where I already have like professional graphics in there. Because <laughs> it looks so sad. Okay. It really should be like more squished. And long, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Not anyone can see that. What the net? Yeah, Gang Beast is hilarious, man, with friends. Oh, obviously a net. Yeah, right? I mean, it's so obvious. All right, let me go into my two player. Ah, screw it. I'm just going to add a new key here for testing. Um, key pressed. End for net. Do I have... Do I don't have... Okay, I'll just hit the board. That's alright. Net. Oops. Set angle of motion to. Let's just test it like. That's a little two hundred. It's a little slow. So what should it do when it hits the ball? Should it... Should it like... If it hits the ball, should it like capture the ball and then... Stick to the next wall? Because I'm thinking maybe the net has the power to go past all the blocks so you can be up here and shoot a net down here what do you guys think should the net go through the blocks because if you look at like I don't know I don't know about that one Ah, yeah, I'll have some gravity. Why not? Um, let's see what 100 looks like at that speed. 
not enough. <laughs> then I actually could up the angle. Oops. Maybe a little too much there. That's pretty good. Chronicus, welcome. How you doing, man? So uh, the reason we have so many extra people in here is um, using the Twitch API, I check for um, part commands that it sends. And for some reason, part commands don't always come all that often. So um, when a part commands don't come, then people don't disappear from the chat. Uh, and there's unfortunately, there's not much I can do about that. So that's why it looks like there's way more than 11 users in here. Just sometimes, I don't know what it is. Twitch just doesn't doesn't send that info. Uh, so we can do a quick clean house. Um, let's see. Rage Paint's here. Not Zelda Gaming. He's not here anymore. Mishrara is not here anymore. Kellogg is not here. Bondi's here. Happy Sibling is not here. Chronicus is here. J Ben's here. Terpke is here. Chase is here. Mag for Sile is not here. Puzzle Gamer is here. Asteristics is here. I'm here. Mubot's here. Fantozer is here. Blinded Eye is not here. Airspace is here. Onset Games is not here. And Wizard is here. Alright. Oh, it's a little cleaner. I've tried using the chatters. Um, originally, my original overlay, I used the chatters, but the delay that it had, um, there was some reason that I needed to get away from the delay. Um, oh, there would be an issue if, um, like, Sometimes, you know, there's like a 10 or 15 seconds delay when the chatters refreshes the list, or it could be even longer sometimes. Um, but if I started like a high score challenge and somebody was in the chat, but they weren't in the overlay yet, then they couldn't compete in it. Uh, or same thing with some of the other, uh, some of the other stuff. So I needed more of a, like an instantaneous way for people as soon as they join chat to... Um, show up in the overlay, so I did away with the chatters. Unfortunately, it stinks. I wish that the part command actually would work all the time. Um, I could do just a check. Um, what I might do is just add a button that I can click, and then it'll compare with the chatters real quick, and it'll just kind of dump out all the ones that have left since I did that. Uh, I'll add in something like that. Use chatters list every 10 to 20 minutes to clear chat of God. Big Buck HD, thanks for the follow, man. Clear overlay of 
non years. There we go. All right, a new follow from Big Buck. Where is Big Buck? He followed but didn't pop in. Well, that's interesting. The question is, do we do a mystery box if Big Buck didn't pop in here? Yeah, I could Rage Paint, but the problem is still there. If I grab a Chatters, the Chatters is always behind the, the chat, right? So if somebody's in chat and then I start like a high score challenge and they're not on the Chatters list yet, then it won't record their scores because it checks to see if they're in the, the overlay yet. Does that make sense? So there was a... The delay in there is what was um, causing the issues. Because originally I had it set up with using the chatters. All right, we got our net. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, airspace. Just every once in a while, call uh, my script to just weed out those that have left. Huh, what is the, what does the T1234567 do? But see, CH Velocity just popped in here, but he's not on the chatters list yet. See, he's still not. He's still not. Wait, is he, is he in here? Oh, never mind. He's not in. He's not in the chat anymore. <laughs> so, so never mind that. That was not a good example. Oh, I see. So you you could just change this number. You just throw like a random number in here. And then that should be instantaneous. Oops. It still doesn't look like it's updating. It still doesn't look like it's updating. Cool. Let me pause that over here. Oh. Because I'm already live. Why am I live in this arcade bot? Oh, I know why. <laughs> There's Malphite. So let me try to try one more time over here. Yeah, it's, I don't know, it's just, it's, and it's random, which makes it even harder.
So I don't know. Yeah, see, Arcade Ed 23 still hasn't popped up in here. There it is. So, anyways, so that's why I do that way. But I have to just check it every once in a while. Who we got? We got Psydoc123 and, oh, Arcade Ed 23. You can go down there. You can be lost. Yeah, like I said, it, I don't know. It's just, it, it's random. I don't know. <laughs> and I was going to make it like Gavin does where until you chat, you don't show up. Um, so lurkers can stay lurkers. Um, but right now it's picking up the join command and adding them in there. So I may take that out. I may not. I don't know. I don't know. It works. When the part command works, all is happy. It's just when that doesn't work that... It starts getting messy. So we'll see. It just works for me because Arcade Ed 23 is gone. It's just like it goes on this stretch for 30 minutes where it doesn't send the part command for everyone that leaves. I don't know. Darn you, Twitch. <laughs> um. Uh, on collision with. If you're wondering why the, the basketball is called a key, because um, originally in this game it was a key and not a ball that you were trying to capture. Why a key? I don't remember. Um. What if I do this? What if I make this uh, solid? Is that gonna like totally screw things up? All right, let me see if I can do this. Oh. Oh, this is going to be hard. Oh! <laughs> Alright, so it's just going through it right now. So, is the ball not reacting to solids? These are solids, right? Oh, it's not. Okay, I can make this physics. How bad is that going to mess up the throw? Not at all. All right. <laughs> that was really <ringing> tight. <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm cracking myself up. Ew, get out of here! I should make it a big, I should make it a big hand instead of a net. It's like he shoots his big hand out of his gun. Yeah, it does. Um, I agree. I agree with you there. Um, actually, I'm thankful that they included the include web sockets now, so I'm actually able to connect to the chat through web sockets. I don't have to use IRC, so that's nice because that's super fast. Um. So what if like a like a big like steampunk hand? It's got like this gun that shoots this big hand that's like bah denied.
So I don't think a net works. I think a net would like surround the ball and not just like bat it away. Trying to think what could be like long and flat that you could shoot. No, not nets, just steampunk. How about weapons? None of that's really helping. Uh, steampunk. Grappling gun. I don't know, maybe the net is going to be the best thing. Uh, change the collision box to what? Because that's the way it is right now. So you think the net should hit the ball and then, I mean, I could have an animation when it hits the ball where it kind of closes up, but, um, but then what does it do? Does it just like fall to the ground and then the net eventually disappears or does it keep flying and stick to the wall? Make it like a C, yeah. Let's see how this works. Oops. 
So that just took it off the screen, obviously. I don't remember which blocks those are. Blocks that are solid. I'm not sure if that'll work with physics, but let's try it. <laughs> uh, OBS is pretty good. Oh, right, you wanted my story on, on OBS. Um, so, my laptop at home, where I also stream from, has a dual video card setup. So, it's got a, a GeForce as like its powerhouse card and then it's got an Intel card for everyday stuff. Um, and OBS has a problem with that. So no matter what I try to do, um, I always show a black screen in OBS. And it's, it's a known problem with OBS. They may have it fixed by now, but when I started streaming a couple months ago, it wasn't fixed. Um, but was originally a problem in XSplit 2, but they fixed it. So that's why I don't use OBS at home. Um, so I had to pay for XSplit. I paid for it, so I figured I might as well use it. Um, yeah, you probably did hear Tetris. Yeah. Uh, did you turn physics off? Oh, it still has gravity, though. Hey. Give me my ball back. I know, I like the idea of, wha of, of whacking it though, so it goes bouncing all over the place. Excellent one month on Humble Bundle for a dollar, that's cool. Um, and plus, I'm really familiar with XSplit. I used it years and years ago when I used to run fighting game tournaments. Um, so I was like in their beta from when it first came out uh, and used it quite a bit, so um, I don't mind. I don't mind it. Alright, well guys, it's probably about time for me to shove off. I um, appreciate you guys popping in today. Very cool. We've got 13 people in here. Let's see who we can raid. Um, I'm going to put some thought into how I want to do this blocking in here. So let's go check out Twitch. And we'll do an arcade raid on somebody. Usually it's Arconic, so let's see if we can find somebody new today. You guys have any suggestions shout it out if there's a streamer that you like 
Um, we could definitely arcade raid them. Quarters, Fantozer. With an S. Oh, thank you guys, man. You guys were a ton of help today. So thanks so much. All right. I am not... There's nobody that I know that is currently streaming. So we should make a new friend. Uh, Fanto... Uh, there you go. You have one quarters. Um, I guess, uh, I'm looking through the game devs right now. What is this, uh, by quiz game. He's at lunch. Continuing work on forest. Pixel art training. Hey, Riamo. Welcome, man. We're just getting ready to sign off. I'm just looking for somebody to host. The interactive game dev stream is at the bottom. I don't see it. Oh, you mean this one? No idea. <laughs> I bet you're right. I have seen that a lot. Oh, 2D Heroes is on? I don't have him in my list. Oh, All right, 2D Heroes. Arcade raid him, everybody. Uh, all right, guys, thanks again. I'll hang out on chat for a couple more minutes. Uh, but we'll go ahead and host uh, 2D Heroes, all right? All right, later, guys. Go hit them up with an arcade raid.